Welcome to a monumental journey through time as we unveil the top 50 generals of ancient Greece. From legendary tacticians to unsung heroes, this is your definitive guide to the military minds that shaped a civilization. As a ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom, Ptolemy II greatly expanded Egypt's maritime and trade influence, notably through his naval campaigns and the development of the city of Alexandria. A distinguished Spartan commander during the early years of the Peloponnesian War, Brasidas is best remembered for his daring and successful campaign in northern Greece, notably capturing the important city of Amphipolis in 424 BC. A pharaoh of the Ptolemaic Kingdom in Egypt, Ptolemy IV is best known for his victory at the Battle of Raphia in 217 BC against the Seleucid king Antiochus III, which was one of the largest battles of the Hellenistic era. A Hellenistic Greek ruler of the Antigonid dynasty, Demetrius I is known for the Siege of Rhodes in 305 BC, where his efforts, although ultimately unsuccessful, led to the creation of the term Poliorcetes, besieger of cities. The ruler of Pergamon, Attalus I is celebrated for transforming Pergamon into a powerful and influential city-state, especially through his military victories over the Gauls, earning him the title Savior. Known as Prusias the Lame, King of Bithynia, he is best remembered for his expansion of Bithynian territory through military campaigns, particularly his successful wars against Pergamon and the Galatians. One of Alexander the Great's commanders, Nearchus is best known for his remarkable naval expedition, where he led the Greek fleet from the Indus River along the coast of the Indian Ocean and Persian Gulf back to Mesopotamia. The king of the Greco-Bactrian kingdom, Euthydemus I is noted for his successful defense against the Seleucid Empire, securing the independence of his kingdom and establishing the foundation for its expansion into India. A Theban statesman and general, Pelopidas is best known for his leadership in the Battle of Leuctra and for his role in the formation of the Sacred Band of Thebes, contributing significantly to Theban power in Greece. The King of Macedon, Philip V's most significant military achievement was his initial successes in expanding Macedonian influence in Greece and Illyria before facing Roman opposition in the Macedonian Wars. A Spartan general, Gylippus is remembered for his crucial role in turning the tide in favor of Sparta during the Peloponnesian War notably by leading the successful defense of Syracuse against the Athenian siege. A Spartan regent and general, Pausanias commanded the Greek forces to victory against the Persians at the Battle of Plataea in 479 BC, a decisive battle that marked the end of the Persian invasion of Greece. A trusted general of Alexander the Great, Craterus played a key role in Alexander's campaigns, with his significant contribution being the leadership of the rearguard during the Indian campaign and his successful crossing of the Hydaspes River. A Macedonian general and a deputy of Alexander the Great, Antipater is most noted for his decisive victory over the Greeks at the Battle of Cranon in 322 BC, which effectively ended the Lamian War and secured Macedonian dominance in Greece. A ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom in Egypt, Ptolemy III is renowned for his successful military campaigns in the Third Syrian War, particularly for his victories which expanded Ptolemaic control in the Near East. Known as Antiochus the God-Giving, this Seleucid king is most famous for his aggressive expansionist policies, including his attempted conquest of Egypt, which was halted by Roman intervention in the famous Day of Eleusis. 
one of Alexander the Great's generals and a Diadochi, Lysimachus is best known for his victory at the Battle of Ipsus in 301 BC, where he, along with other successors of Alexander, decisively defeated Antigonus I. A general under Alexander the Great and later Pharaoh of Egypt, Ptolemy's most significant military achievement was securing and maintaining Egypt's independence, notably repelling invasions by Perdiccas and Antigonus. A Spartan mercenary commander, Xanthippus is renowned for his role in revitalizing the Carthaginian army and leading them to victory against the Romans. At the Battle of Tunis in 255 BC during the First Punic War, An Athenian general, Miltiades is celebrated for his crucial role in the Battle of Marathon in 490 BC, where his strategic acumen led the Athenian army to a decisive victory over the Persians, marking a pivotal moment in the Greco-Persian Wars. An Athenian general, Chabrias is recognized for his innovations in military tactics and his notable victory at the Battle of Naxos in 376 BC, which was a significant naval victory for Athens during the Corinthian War. A prominent Athenian general, Iphicrates is known for his innovations in military tactics and equipment with his most significant achievement being the defeat of a Spartan Mora near Corinth in 390 BC, showcasing his tactical ingenuity. A legendary Spartan king, Leonidas is best remembered for his heroic stand and leadership of the Greek forces at the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC against the Persian army, a defining moment in the Greco-Persian Wars. An Athenian general and historian, Xenophon is best known for his leadership in the March of the Ten Thousand, a retreat in which he led a Greek mercenary army to safety from deep within Persian territory in 401 BC. An influential king of Pergamon, Attalus II skillfully expanded his kingdom's territory and influence through both military campaigns and diplomatic alliances, notably aiding Rome against the Seleucids in the Roman Seleucid War. Known as Antiochus the Great, this Seleucid king expanded his empire significantly, with his most notable military achievement being the conquest of the eastern provinces of the former Achaemenid Empire including his victory at the Battle of Panium in 198 BC. A king of Sparta, Agesilaus II is noted for his successful campaigns in Asia Minor against the Persians and in Greece, during the Corinthian War, demonstrating his prowess as a military commander and his ability to maintain Spartan dominance. An Athenian admiral and general, Formio is celebrated for his naval victories in the early years of the Peloponnesian War, particularly his innovative tactics at the Battle of Naupactus in 429 BC. A Greco-Bactrian king, Eucratides I is renowned for his military strength and expansion of his kingdom, particularly his conquests in the Indo-Greek territories, which made him one of the most powerful Greek rulers in the East. A prominent Greek statesman, orator, and general of Athens, Pericles is best known for his strategy of avoiding land battles with Sparta and focusing on strengthening Athens' naval power, which led to a series of successes and the fortification of the city. A prominent Athenian statesman and general, Cimon is noted for his successes against the Persians, especially his dual victory on land and sea at the Battle of the Eurymedon in 466 BC, which marked a significant step in pushing back Persian influence from the Greek world. A Spartan admiral, 
Lysander's greatest military achievement was his victory over the Athenian navy at the Battle of Egospotami in 405 BC, effectively ending the Peloponnesian War and establishing Spartan dominance in Greece. A skilled Athenian general, statesman, and later a Spartan and Persian advisor, Alcibiades is best known for his crucial role in turning the tide of the Peloponnesian War in favor of Sparta after defecting from Athens. As a tyrant of Syracuse, Gelan is best known for his leadership and victory in the Battle of Himera in 480 BC, where he defeated a large Carthaginian army, marking a significant moment in ancient Sicilian history. As the tyrant of Syracuse, Dionysius I significantly expanded his city's power and territory, his greatest military achievement being the establishment of a powerful navy and his successful campaigns against the Carthaginians in Sicily. A king of Macedon, Antigonus II Gonatas is best known for his victory at the Battle of Lysimachia in 277 BC against the Gauls, which solidified his control over Macedonia. Known as Antigonus the One-Eyed, one of Alexander the Great's generals and a Diadochi, his most significant achievement was establishing a large territorial kingdom, although ultimately defeated at the Battle of Ipsus. A Greek general and secretary of Alexander the Great, Eumenes's notable achievement was his skillful command in Asia Minor against other Diadochi, particularly his victories in the wars of the Diadochi that demonstrated his tactical brilliance. A leader of the Phocian forces during the Third Sacred War, Onomarchus is most recognized for his successful military campaigns against the Macedonians, particularly his significant victory over Philip II of Macedon. Revered as the last of the Greeks, Philippimon, a general of the Achaean League, is best known for his reforms of the Greek phalanx and his victory at the Battle of Mantinea in 207 BC. A ruler of the Indo-Greek kingdom, Demetrius I is celebrated for his extensive military campaigns in India, where he expanded Greek influence deep into the subcontinent, earning him the epithet, the unconquered. A king of the Greco-Bactrian kingdom, Menander I is celebrated for his military conquests that expanded his kingdom into India, and his reign marked the peak of Hellenistic influence in the region. A trusted general of Alexander the Great, Parmenion's most significant contribution was his role in the early campaigns of Alexander's conquest, particularly in the decisive Battle of Issus in 333 BC against the Persian Empire. One of Alexander the Great's generals and a Diadochi, Seleucus I founded the Seleucid Empire and is best known for re-establishing control over the vast eastern territories of Alexander's empire, including Persia and parts of India. A Greek king and one of the greatest military commanders of the ancient world, Pyrrhus is best known for his victories against Rome during the Pyrrhic War, particularly at the Battle of Heraclea in 280 BC, which gave rise to the term Pyrrhic victory. A skilled Greek mercenary and commander in Persian service, Memnon is noted for his strategic acumen during Alexander the Great's invasion, particularly for advocating a scorched earth strategy to weaken Alexander's advance. An Athenian politician and general, Themistocles is most renowned for his naval strategy at the Battle of Salamis in 480 BC, where his tactics led to a decisive Greek victory against the Persians, turning the tide of the Greco-Persian Wars. A Theban general and statesman, Epaminandus transformed Thebes into a major power in Greece, 
with his greatest achievement being his victory at the Battle of Leuctra in 371 BC, which broke Spartan hegemony over Greece. The father of Alexander the Great, Philip II is credited with transforming the Kingdom of Macedon into a dominant power in the ancient Greek world, notably through his victory at the Battle of Chaeronea in 338 BC, which resulted in the unification of Greece under Macedonian rule. One of history's most successful military commanders, Alexander the Great created one of the largest empires of the ancient world by the age of 30, with his most celebrated victory being at the Battle of Gogamila in 331 BC, leading to the fall of the Persian Empire. And so, our odyssey through the pantheon of ancient Greek military brilliance comes to a close. From storied legends to unsung heroes, each general we've explored adds a unique brushstroke to the masterpiece that is Greek history. If you've enjoyed this epic journey through ancient Greece's greatest generals, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more captivating historical content. Thank you for watching.